some other hi guys welcome back to my channel today we will talk about investing options in switzerland and we will talk about four platforms today that you and i are either currently using or have used them before and at the end i will also mention some other platforms that we know about um, that we either use like incredibly passively or not at all so let's start with Yova. Um, Yova is basically a platform that we use with the robo advisor, but they have other type of other types of services. They also have an ETF robo advisor. They have standard banking, bank investing, and also a do it yourself uh, investment option. And Yova is basically a sustainable investing platform. So they invest in stocks and bonds that have a sustainable angle. And uh, the way it works is it rebalances your portfolio. So the robo advisor rebalances your portfolio once per year, unless there's like a major imbalance. And your portfolio is diversified at across at least 30 industries, countries and company sizes. And they also have some other type of products outside of investing like third pillar or a kids uh, investment account. A couple of advantages for Yoba, so they don't have any limits or any fees on withdrawals or investments. It just takes, I think, up to a week uh, from the moment you withdraw your money until the moment it comes into your account, which means that the money that you receive might be slightly different since they are like trying to sell your investments and that may hap might happen over the course of a few days. Some other advantages are the fact that they provide an yearly tax statement, which you can directly upload on the apps that some cantons have. It doesn't work for all the cantons, but I know that it works for Zurich, for example. Um, they also have a user-friendly app where you can see like your portfolio, how much money you invested, your profit or your losses and so on. You can also um, see your bank information, payment, uh, personal information, things like that. Um, and they used to have a 120 francs welcome gift, which I'm not sure if they do by default anymore, but they do with a referral code that I'm going to put uh, down in the description box down below. In terms of disadvantages, the first thing is that uh, they have a minimum investment amount of 2000 francs. And the second thing is that their fees are relatively high. So it's 0.6 to 1.2%, but basically the more you invest, the lower the fee. So that means that up to 15,000 francs, it is 1.2%, then above 50,000, it becomes 1% and then 0.8 and 0.6. And the way we use it is both here and I open an account with, I call it Yova, I think now it's called Inyova, um, with them right after the pandemic. So I think it was like May 2020 um, and it was going like super well right until the war started in like yeah, February, March 2021. Uh, so we both closed our accounts in early 2021. Uh, because yeah, the times were different. We also found another platform that was performing better. Uh, since you know, the sustainable stocks and bonds are generally doing really well, but not in times of war. The second investment platform that I want to talk about is Investart. And uh, we also use a robo advisor with Investart, but they have other options like uh, manage myself. Um, and Investart also has a very diversified portfolio, um, which is like across different geographies and sectors and asset classes, classes. And it rebalances your portfolio whenever your asset allocation mix deviates significantly from your target mix. And the last thing that I want to mention, like generally about Investart is uh, the fact that they use interactive bro brokers to purchase to like trade ETFs, which might be another thing that uh, some people use. I know that, for example, the bloggers that I mentioned in my first Swiss banking video, 
um, the poor Swiss and the Masashian, they both use interactive brokers directly, so not through InvestArt. In terms of advantages, similar to Indiova, basically there are no limits or fees to withdrawals or investments. Again, it takes up to a week until you receive your money, which means that the amount that you receive might deviate from the last amount that you saw in your profile. Um, and also it has... Uh, it doesn't have an app, but it has like an online portal where you can log in and again see like your portfolio, your investments, profits, losses, and personal information, banking information to, um, to transfer money for investing and things like that. In terms of disadvantages, similar to Yova, it has a minimum investment amount of 2000 francs. And I will put it in disadvantages uh, because there is a fee, which is around 0.3%. It is still probably the smallest among the four that um, we are going to talk about today. Uh, but when Hure and I joined, that fee was 0% and it is still 0% for the people who uh, started using InvestStart from like Basically, we started pretty much as soon as uh, it was released. In terms of how Hure and I use it, so we opened an account after we opened Yova. So I think sometime later in 2020, once we heard about it, I think Hure read about it either on the Port Swiss or the Mustache or maybe on both uh, blogs. And Hure still uses it as his primary investment account. So he like invests a certain amount every month. Uh, I started using another platform that I'm going to talk about uh, in a couple of minutes, uh, but I still have some investments in InvestArt, which I just keep them there passively because with um, like after the pandemic, they were doing well. And then after the war, they went down and they haven't fully recovered yet. Um, and we are doing long term investing. We are not planning to take the money out for any other purposes. So. Uh, yeah, my aim is to keep it there until it uh, bounces back. As I said a couple of minutes ago, I actually use another platform as my main investing platform at the moment, and that is True Wealth. Uh, I use their robo advisor, but they also have other services. You can do online trading individually, and they also have True Wealth management, and that is for um, I think it's between fifty and two, yeah, fifty and half a million. Uh, francs so for larger uh, amounts of money and they also rebalance your portfolio they do 40 rebalances in a year automatically and at no extra cost for you and they also diverse uh, diversify your portfolio depending on your risk profile but very similar to uh, Inuva and to Investart is like different geographies industries company sizes and so on um, in terms of disadvantages, again, similar in terms of advantages, sorry, first, uh, similar to the other two, there are no limits or fees to investments or withdrawals. Um, and I think it takes, they say, three to seven days until you receive the money uh, after you withdraw, which might be, I mean, it might end up being a week like the other two, but it might also be uh, slightly shorter. I've never tried it, so I don't know how, how long it takes. Um, and it has a user-friendly app like uh, in Yova. So again, where you can see your portfolio uh, investments, withdrawals, bank details, uh, personal information and all of that. Now let's talk disadvantages. Uh, if I saw correctly, their minimum investment account is 8,500 francs, which is more than four times the minimum investment of InvestArt or Inyova. So that is definitely a disadvantage for people who want to start small or they simply don't want to invest uh, large amounts of money, larger amounts of money relatively. Um, and in terms of fees, they vary between 0.25 and 0.5%. And to that, they add what they call ETR or product cost, which amounts to approximately 0.15%. So I just checked basically up to half a million, it is 0.5% uh, the, the fee. So it decreases to 0.25 if you invest, I don't know, between half a million and five million or maybe even more. Um, and the, the way we use it, so here didn't open an account with True Wealth, uh, but I opened an account, I think it was like early spring, maybe February, March this year. 
uh, and I use it as my main investment platform. So there are months when I feel like investing and months when I don't, but whenever I do, that's the main platform where uh, I transfer money to for uh, long-term investing. The last platform that I will discuss in detail is Selma. And this is a platform uh, for which we also used uh, their robo-advisor service, but they also have other services like saving plans and investments of larger funds. Um, they also rebalance your portfolio when the allocation of a certain fund is more than either 1.5% or 2,500 francs off from the target um, allocation. And it also diversifies your portfolio similar to the other three based on your risk profile. Again, in terms of advantages, it's very similar. There are no limits or fees for investments or withdrawals. It takes up to a week to get uh, your money once you withdraw. And um, they have an app. So in Yova, True Wealth and Selma, they all have a user-friendly app uh, with very similar features. In terms of disadvantages uh, for Selma, so number one is it has a minimum investment amount similar to Investart and Iliova that is 2,000 francs and their fees are around like 0.68% um, for I think up to 50,000 and afterwards it decreases uh, to I think up to 0.42% for half a million so that's more or less the range. And in terms of Hure and I, so we actually opened the Selma account around the same time as we opened the Indiova account. So that was like May 2020, uh, shortly after the pandemic started. And uh, it was doing well, but not as well as Yova, maybe because yeah, the sustainable um, investments started picking up uh, once the pandemic started slowing down. Also, I feel like Selma is quite a European uh, focused market and the Dow J has always uh, been doing well or pretty much always uh, and better than like the Swiss market in the index uh, or other European ones. Um, so yeah, we just felt like it was not performing uh, as well as Yova, so we closed our account, I would say, in like late uh, 2020. Two other apps I want to mention uh, purely for crypto investments. One of them is Revolut. Some advantages are that you have access to over 120 tokens. And I've never tried it, but they say that you can easily transfer more than 30 tokens, more than 30 types of tokens, uh, between external wallets and Revolut. Um, it also has a user-friendly app. If you use Revolut, uh, I think I talked about it in like uh, bank accounts, which we use um, for withdrawing money outside the country and for foreign transactions, especially not on the weekend. Um, but yes, yeah, so it has an app where again for crypto you can see like the list of your tokens, uh, you can see their progress since you bought them, but also all the way back to the beginning of their lifetime. And Revolut is also quite safe because they work with the bank and you are insured on your um, money up to a certain amount. In terms of disadvantages, they have a pretty high fee. I think it's 1.49%. It depends on the country that you're from, uh, but it is either 1.49% or 1.49 pounds, I think, for Switzerland, uh, whichever is the higher of the two. So that's the money they take for every transaction, whether it's buying or selling cryptocurrencies. And the way we use it is, uh, I mean, quite passive. So I invested a, short, a small amount of money in cryptocurrencies, but that's the only platform where I invest in cryptocurrencies. And here is basically not using it much. I think there were just a couple of promotions, like some quizzes that you could fill out on Revolut and then it would give you some coins. So I think that's pretty much all he has on Revolut. So you might be wondering what does Hure use for cryptocurrencies then? And what he uses is Binance. Um, and similar to Revolut, it has some advantages. Like I think that you have access to more than 150 cryptocurrencies, so even more than Revolut. Um, it also has a user-friendly app where again, you can see the list of your cryptocurrencies, their progress since you bought them, but also before. 
uh, from the beginning of their lifetime. And I don't know exactly how many cryptocurrencies are supported, but you can also transfer from transfer cryptocurrencies from external wallets to uh, Binance and the other way around. In terms of disadvantages, it also has a transaction fee. It is, I think, 0.1%, which is way lower than Revolut, but it's still there. And I don't use Binance, but it is the primary platform that Hu uses for cryptocurrency investments. Okay, so uh, the postman called, uh, so I got interrupted. But what I was saying is that before I wrap this up, I just want to mention four other platforms that you can use for investing in Switzerland. Um, the first one is Kraken which is not uh, Hure's main cryptocurrency investment platform, but it is one of the ones that he uses. The second one is Neon, so you can directly invest uh, with Neon. I don't know the details of it, and neither Hure nor I are using it for the moment. But if you are interested, let me know in the comments down below. I can look up the details for you. Uh, the third one is Swisscode, which I think is quite popular. You can either invest directly on Swisscode uh, or you can do it via YA, which is uh, one of the banks, one of the neo banks that I mentioned in my first uh, Swiss banking video. Uh, so in part one, where we talked about like uh, debit uh, accounts. And the last thing that I'm going to mention is in uh, interactive brokers. I already talked about it when I talked about the invest start, but like I said, Interactive Brokers is another investment platform when you, where you can directly invest. And I know that uh, people like uh, the poor Swiss or the mustache are using it. And with that, I would like to wrap up the video. Uh, I hope that this was helpful. Uh, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Uh, let us know down in the comments down below what investment or cryptocurrency platforms you use, whether you are in Switzerland or especially if there are other platforms that people can use, or the, although they are not residents in a specific country. Uh, also, let me know if you use any of these platforms, uh, which one is your favorite, which one you would or would not recommend. Um, and yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so, and we will see you very soon with a new video. Thank you for watching. Bye!